you know, the sea cucumber you eat is actually the ultimate survival expert of the ocean. That's right. I don't have a protective shell, but I've lived for 600 million years, thanks to my abilities. What abilities are you talking about? What are you about to prove? <laughs> this is its weapon. When in danger, it ejects these sticky toxic filaments for protection. They tangle up any fish messing with me. But they can pull me down! Oh, oh no. In that case... What else can you spray? What the heck? This is its second survival trick. When in danger, it contracts its body and expels internal organs and escapes. It's going to die! My organs regenerate. In 20 days, I'll be as good as new. Too bad you won't see that day. <laughs> Let's see you spray now. Go ahead and slice me. My last trick, self-division. Cut me once, I become two. Cut me twice, I become four. <laughs> I'll never run out of food. Can you believe there's an animal that washes everything it eats? Even cleaner than you. I have to see this for myself. Raccoon, what are you doing? To figure this out, over 60 years ago, researchers at the London Zoo proposed a theory. Ah, maybe it washes food just like humans to remove parasites and bacteria in the food. Wow, oh, that's what? They were wrong, because it rubs the food without water. Ah, President Dirt here! Thus, the second theory. They have undeveloped salivary glands. It washes food to add moisture and easier to eat. Makes sense! No, 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 I wash food because I can't see you all. I gotcha! Wait, what's this? <laughs> To recognize objects, raccoons have sensitive nerve endings in their front paws. They're sensitive, just like monkeys. But since I also use the paws for walking, the skin becomes rough, reducing sensitivity. <laughs> Water softens the keratin layers on his paws, restoring sense of touch. This is a mo? This is a cuckoo? This is... What is this? Mm, that's why raccoon washes everything it grabs. That's why it's washing very Chinese. I just can't help myself. Who is the most unfortunate animal mother? It's, it's me. me. I have to squat to feed my baby. It's me. I have 30 babies in one litter. I can't keep them. Do you know the struggles of nursing in the ocean? First, the milk can't be thin. Otherwise, it would be wasted. That's why whale milk is as thick as condensed milk. Its protein content is four times than the cow and fat is ten times higher. How much nutrition do I need to produce that? What's even worse? Second, feeding. Whales breathe through their lungs, so they have to surface for air. Staying long underwater can be bad. So nursing must be quick, precise, and efficient. A whale mother uses a gel of milk to feed, while the baby curls its tongue into a straw shape. And the baby drinks as much as mine. A baby whale can gain 100 80 pounds in a day and eats 400 liters of milk, about 2,000 bags. Being a mother is so hard. When you eat and eat and eat, what will happen to your body? Stomach digest slowly. How will I handle so much food? Oh, it really stretches. Because stomach wall is elastic. When empty, it holds 50 ml. When full, it holds up to 1,500. 30 times its size. Then I'll eat more. It doesn't mean you should push it. If you overeat, the wall thins out and some muscles may tear. Overstretching weakens elasticity. No, my smooth and flexible stomach wall. An overstretched stomach presses other organs. It's heavy! I can't breathe any longer! Uh, now what's happening? That's acid reflux. The lower esophageal sphincter is between your esophagus and stomach, which traps the food in if you eat too much. I can't hold it anymore! Ah! The pressure in your stomach increases, forcing acid back up, and then... Oh, it's mine! I'll digest it eventually! I can't keep up! You might be resting, but we are working overtime to absorb all the food! And night never ends! Overworking your intestines disrupts sleep, and you'll gain weight! No worries, I'm young! I can lose weight later! Oh, I have a stomach! Ah! That's your pancreas. It produces pancreatic juice to help digest. Pancreas, I'm calling for backup. Roger! Here too! Over here! Too much fat overworks your pancreas. Excess juice can rupture the ducts. Pancreatic juice is highly alkaline. If it leaks, <laughs> it corrodes a pancreas, which is serious. Don't eat too much during the holidays. Do you know why flatfish has both eyes on the same side? Of course! So it's easier to grill! Flatfish looks normal when it was little. It was born in the deep sea where food is scarce. To survive, deep sea fish evolve. Some have strong muscles, some swim very fast, some have terrifying faces to scare predators. Some evolve. But the flatfish doesn't! I just wanna lie down. <sighs> Tastes good! Lying flat avoids scaring prey to hunt easily. So over time, flatfish became flatter, hiding in the sand, blending into the surroundings to stay hidden, waiting for food to deliver itself. Lying down and still getting fed? That's the dream. Huh? What's happening? Flying sideways meant the eye buried happening? in the sand would go blind. Did that make me a pirate? I gotta figure something out! So while the skull is still soft, young flatfish push one eye to the other side. Now I won't go blind! No prey can escape my eyes! I will eat all of you! Since it doesn't move much, its meat is soft and tender. Your favorite sole and turbot are all flatfish. Why are you babbling all this? Now we're doomed. Bunnies are so cute, but they grow up eating poo. How can you eat poop? If I don't, I'll die. Once I had dignity, and so I'd never eat poo. Everyone does it, why don't you? I refuse to eat dirty. <laughs> But why? I only didn't eat poo. I don't deserve to die. 
rabbits eat 80% grass. It's low in nutrients and hard to digest. Protein, vitamins, and amino acids get poop out. You lack nutrients. Round two. I refuse to accept that fate. This time I'll eat more. I'll live with dignity. <laughs> Why am I dead again? Your stomach is tiny. Eating too much at once bloats and kills you. Got it! I will eat less! Round 3! I will keep eating! When I'm full, I'll store my food in my cecum! The cecum stores and absorbs nutrients. Thanks to it, the rabbit finally lived a happy, poo-free life! Why did this happen?! Because you trusted the cecum too much. It absorbs some nutrients, but not everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do I still need to eat poo? <laughs> Fine, I'll eat it! I'll eat it now! Six months later. Rabbits eat poo to reabsorb nutrients and probiotics. It actually makes us healthier and we have to eat fresh cecotrops which are packed with nutrients. I refuse to eat dirty things. Honey, come on. Why is it so sweet? Fruits are getting sweeter. Can we eat them without worry? Yes, fruits stay sweet because... Because of us. The soluble sugars were natural components of fruit, not something harmful. The more of us there are, the sweeter the fruit. Huh? This has sugar? It's not that sweet! Check the sugar-acid ratio. More sugar and less acid make it sweet. Fragrance and low temperature can enhance sweetness. Too sweet! There must be something fishy! Just the hard work of scientists, for 20 years, they've been breeding new varieties. Honey plum, crispy crown pear, golden passion fruit, golden autumn peach. Sweet and beautiful! They're all high-quality new breeds. I'm Kyoho. I'm Rose Brigid. Together, Together we, we make, make the, the champion. champion. Kill Rose, the sugar content is 19% higher than my parents. Ample sunlight, right amount of water, and a balanced mix of organic and chemical fertilizers makes the acidity cut in half. Now we are scarily sweet. They make me throw dry and for flavor left! <laughs> no, sweetness alone isn't enough! So, scientists started a new journey. They studied the optimal sugar acid ratio for each fruit for the perfect sweet sour taste. They collected wild varieties to bring back the fruitiness. They delayed harvesting to get more nutrients and create a complex flavor. See, she has no apple! So crisp! You wish in strawberry! So sweet! Jasmine fragrant grape! So aromatic! I grow at an angle, or sideways, or horizontally! Ah! Wisdom teeth hurt so much! Huh? That's because your face is too small! Million years ago, our ancestors had huge faces. They had small brains but massive jawbones, providing a sturdy shelter for teeth. Children! Charge! Teeth helped them chew raw meat and tree bark. Until one day... <laughs> I can't bite anymore. I must leave you all now. Considering his diet, I've already lived a long life. <laughs> An earthquake? He has finally arrived! A hero has descended upon us! Could it be the legendary Super Tooth Wisdom Teeth? Choose raw meat, lost three mark! With wisdom teeth, even if other teeth fell out, they can still hold the fort and turn the tide! Then take on anything tough! I will come out! Until one day, humans learn to use fire to cook their food. Children, charge! But human food became easier to chew. Teeth lasted longer. The Super Tooth! Wisdom Tooth! <laughs> More like Super Food Clogger! Exactly! All that you do is trap food! You're not welcome here! What? With less chewing work, the jawbone shrank, and human intelligence grew. Wisdom Teeth not only lost her job, but to be born, they had to squeeze a neighbor's face. Stop pushing! It hurts! I have great ambitions, yet I have nowhere to shine! This is your fate now! <laughs> my fate is mine to decide, not the heavens! I got a crack at it! My noodles! The rotten egg sneak attack incident. Judging from the scene, there's more than one bad egg. What the? The rotten one is among you. Got it! It's this one! It's still got poo on it! Commander, having poo means I'm... It's fresh! Don't judge by the looks alone! Life doesn't pass through! And a rotten egg! A good egg has tiny invisible pores in its shell! It sees through in the light! But when an egg sits too long, dust, moisture, and bacteria clog the pores, making it opaque! Stop talking! The rotten egg got away! It can't run far! It'll float in water! Over time, moisture evaporates and microbes break down the egg white! It gets lighter! And it won't sink in water if you're still unsure! You crack it into a separate bowl! Don't no need to waste a whole meal! What the noodles? Uh, Why uh, don't eat it? Figs have bees inside! Every fig you eat means one less bee in the world! Ah! Some figs do have insects, but not bees. They're fig wasps. What are those? 
They're tiny wasps about the size of an ant that pollinate figs. Figs don't have flowers! So how do they pollinate? <laughs> don't ah! interrupt me! Figs do have flowers, but they're small and hidden inside the fruit. If it's enclosed, how do they get in? There's a passage at the bottom just for them. Wow, it's like prime real estate. Perfect for raising kids. If you want to settle here, you'll need to. I'll pollinate huh? your flowers. <laughs> then I can reproduce. It's a deal. Big wasps lay their eggs inside the fig, and after finishing their mission, they die there. Really? Let me check. There's nothing inside her. You mess with me. It's ah! true. You can't see the wasps because their bodies have been broken down into proteins a fig absorbs, becoming one with it. What about the eggs? The eggs grow inside the fig. Male wasps dig a hole to let the females out so they can start a new life. Goodbye, little sister. I'll miss you, big brother. But male wasps are born without wings, so they stay in the fig forever. So there's more than one wasp in the fig. I'm tossing it. Don't waste that! Chicken legs, chicken ribs, chicken fillets, my whole chicken so delicious! What do you have for our chicken but not fine duck? Exactly! We're both poultry, why fight one and not the other? Because you're foolish, our ancestors' treasure isn't being utilized! What treasure? Your epigel gland, this is our treasure! This gland secretes oil. Birds use their beaks to apply this oil for waterproofing and protection. Chickens hop on the ground so they don't need it! I often stay in water, I need it for waterproofing! However, this oil has a fishy smell because ducks eat fish and shrimp! The smell is even stronger! Plus seasoning can mask the odor! Plus, you have more meat, our anise, and cinnamon! Bring them on! Not everyone can eat my meat! Look how fast I am! Ducks have more muscle than chickens. Thus, the coarse meat. When deep fried, they lose moisture. So I won't typically be fried. Then let's brace it instead! I can't get my poo out! If you can't poo, try these foods. Why? Constipation happens for two reasons. One, lack of water and exercise. Lack of water dry out intestines so it's harder to poo. I'm here to help! Who are you? I am Prune. Prune has a secret weapon, sorbitol, which absorbs enough water and softens poo, making it easier to pass. I'm not a fan of prunes. Try avocado. I'm trying hard. Good luck in trying. Hey, kid, watch this. You won't do anything. I'll live here forever. <laughs> I'll shoot you. Avocados are rich in soluble fiber, helping your poo retain moisture for smoother passage. It's too expensive. Who can eat it every day? Then go for dragon fruit. What can it do? Lack of movement, slows digestion, making it tough to poop. I just love lying around all day. Dragon fruit seeds can be digested. They stimulate stomach movement, helping you poo. Aside from these, yams, sweet potatoes, celery, enoki mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, and chives can also help keep poo moving. Oh, I'm gonna be broke. Here's your order. Duh. You're feeding her dirt balls. I'm not ah. a dirt ball. I'm Xiaoxi, a delicacy from Rianchu, Shangxi. I may look dirty, but I'm an intangible cultural heritage. What heritage? You're just dirt. You're ah. real dirty. That's just my appearance. This is the real me. Huh? Xiaoxi is a flour-based dish cooked in soil. The dough is mixed with sesame, Sichuan pepper, and salt. Rolled into flat sheets and cut into small squares. Oh, my head! Now heat up the soil. The locally sourced cliffside white soil is crushed and sifted. The soil is finest flour. Oh, my eyes! The final step, stir frying. Watch me use my pump! I talk, you talk! The soil conducts heat, so the dough cooks fast. Once done, shake off the dust, and we're done! Finally, something to eat. Now back to shopping! Did you know the eel you eat can change its gender? Nonsense! You're the one who can! Wait, what's happening to me? Don't panic, this is called sex reversal. What? All eels are born female. Welcome to our kingdom. But when they grow older, after some of them became a mother, their sex organs quietly start changing. Their ovaries gradually transform into testes, turning them from female to male. I can show my face anymore. Let me change my Oh no, you can't do that. If it's destiny, then from now on. I'm a real man. Look at this strong, muscular body. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Big and meaty and fresh. Very fresh eels. Ew, so ugly. Doesn't look tasty. Nonsense. Ah. Eels are low fat, high protein, and nutritious. In Jiangsu, southern China, they're a famous delicacy. What's so good about them? Check this. Sizzling oil eel slivers. Coated in red shot, scallions, ginger, and garlic. Then hot oil is poured. Let me try. And this soft braised eel. Made with the tenderest eel back meat. It's silky smooth with a flavor that lingers. Mm, it's so delicious. Friends, have you ever tried eel? But what exactly is blood sausage? It's pigs' blood and pigs' small intestines. <laughs> Stop blood into the intestine! First, you gotta season it. Mix bone broth, spices, and fresh pigs' blood for a rich, fragrant paste. Pour the blood in, seal the ends, and boil it. To check if it's done, poke it while cooking. If no blood leaks out, it's ready. Why isn't the blood leaking? Because proteins undergo denaturation when heated. <laughs> denaturation? Just shut up! Proteins water loving nature turns water repelling, like a personality shift. At room temperature, proteins are cold and distant, scattered everywhere, which keeps blood in its liquid form, but when heated, the proteins will change. They suddenly love huddling together. Once they clump up, the blood solidifies, locking in moisture and fat. It's bouncy and rich in flavor. Dip it in some sauce, no gaminess. Pair it with sour cabbage and pork belly. 